हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू सिविल निर्माण मैनी टाइम्स इट हैपन्स दैट वेन वी वर्क ऑन स्टैट प्रो वी फॉरगेट टू सेव अवर फाइल्स वेल वर्किंग ऑन दैट ड्यू टू पावर कट और एब नॉर्मल शट डाउन ऑफ कंप्यूटर इट हैपन्स दैट वेन यू री स्टार्ट यू लॉस्ट योर स्टैट फाइल और योर स्टैट फाइल्स गेट करप्टेड सो इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टू इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स फर्स्ट how to recover those stat files and second how we can prevent this loss of data so let's get started now we have basically two categories of users first that are based on the latest stat pro connect edition version and some of you might using the older version of the stat pro right so we will discuss for both the cases so let's talk about first stat for the so let's first talk about the stat pro connect edition version part right so i'll switch to the stat pro connect edition version now starting from stat pro connect edition version there is now an auto recovery option included in the software which will create a file name based on the model name that you have provided and it will create an auto recovery zip within the same folder as the stat pro model the model at which lo the location at which you have saved your model so this file would get created automatically in case of an abnormal shutdown and if you unzip the file you will you would be able to get the dot std file which would have all the data that the file had clear the crash it means that whatever the last command you have operated on your stat model before your crash up to that particular point your data will be available afterly when one opens a model after an abnormal program termination the software would show a message that the file got terminated abnormally and one can recover the data by choosing yes to the prompt and one should make sure to choose that option to get back the model data right so from the auto recovery option in the connect edition part you can recover your stat model and let's say for this particular building the name given as factory building underscore 7.5 meter right so when your computer shut downs abnormally it will create an zip file with the same name in the same folder so you can unzip that and recover your data also in this particular version if you haven't check your backup manager you can just go to the file tab over here and go to the tools part where you can open your backup manager right and tick this box of enable auto save okay so it will save your number of backups and the frequency of auto save is 15 minutes so after every 15 minutes it will save your file automatically and here you have the option to save your file if you want to save that particular in a separate folder you can check this out and you can change the time of auto save as well right so that's quite easy in the stat pro connect edition part right now let's talk about the other option from that as well you can recover your stat model as well right so let me take you to the other option as you know when you run your stat model there are so many temporary files gets created with the different stat file extension now if you don't know which category of the stat extensions are for which purpose you can check out our video for the stat file extension that we have created and we have created a separate video on the stat file extension that for which purpose that extensions files are generated you can check out that video on our channel the link is provided in the description box now let's talk about the backup file so when you have your backup manager in that case you can recover your stat model from the backup file right so stat will create your backup file in terms of dot sbk or dot ed backup format so when you go to your stat file folder right so in that particular folder you will observe one file with the dot sbk or dot ed backup extension and from there you can recover your stat model now for this as well you need to keep in mind that your backup manager should be on right now in the older version 
the backup option available over here is in the main screen menu right so from here the same option will be visible to you so you have to turn this on when you turn on this that backup file will be generated if the software crashes or the software is forced to shut down abnormally for any reason normally the software will retain the information already there in the file for the older version part now however if you ever run into a situation where you are unable to open that particular stat file and the software generate a message saying that the file is not a valid file or if you find that the file size for the stat pro model is reduced to zero byte then you may follow this particular method now go to this particular folder where your model file is now there are two categories of backup file as i mentioned with dot sbk or dot ed dot backup right now you can create a new folder over there now copy only the dot ed backup file or dot sbk file into that particular folder and for this particular file if you simply change the extension form ed backup to dot std you will be able to get back the stat pro model however if you have a dot sbk file simply changing the extension will not work right so from the dot ed dot backup file you can regenerate your model but if you have a dot sbk file simply changing the extension will not work as there would be some binary form of data at the beginning of the file which would have to be taken out first right so right click on that particular dot sbk and choose to open now i'll just give you a short demo over here to recover those stat model right so let's check that now let's take a look how we can recover so for this two particular file let's say for this particular apartment wall file i have this dot ed backup file so what i'll do is i'll create a new folder over here for the backup now i'll copy this file and put it over here and simply changing the extension dot std now it it will ask me to change it so i'll click on yes and you can observe that i can able to recover my stat model right and i'll check whether it is executable or not so here you can check that i am able to recover my stat model right so this is the one way from which you can recover your stat model now let's take the other option let's say if you don't have that ed backup file but instead of that you have only dot sbk file right but currently i am showing you a demo for this particular as well this particular ed backup file only but let's assume that you don't have this backup file and you have only dot sbk file so in that case what you can do you can just click on the file you can just right click on the file click on open with now here keep in mind that you have to uncheck this okay always use this app to open so i'll uncheck this and i'll use a note option over here so once i click on the note option you can observe that for that particular file uh, my stat editor is generated right you can save this stat editor and create your new file so that's how you can recover your stat model now let's understand how you can prevent the loss of data right so in stat here you have this configuration option available and if you click on miscellaneous option here few important check box are available that you have to always keep in check format right so the first one is always save auxiliary data now during the course of performing analysis design and post processing operations the multiple files associated with the stat projects are generated now set this option to direct the program to save all files in the stat project when the project is closed next always delete re results data if out of synchronization now what does this mean set this option to delete result files when a project is open if 
the input file has been modified more recently than those input files. This option is helpful in ensuring that results invalidated by recent changes to the input file will not be used in error. Next, warn if model access from network drive. Now set this option to display a warning dialog when an, when an input file is opened from a network drive. Using a network drive can dramatically slow performance. It is recommended that local copies of files be made to improve performance. So by checking up on your backup manager and few important points, you can prevent the loss of data. So I hope this video helps you out. If you find the video useful, hit the like button and share with others. Thank you. Keep learning, keep sharing.